Seven pounder from Ashland. Ashland with two pins in a row. Shot by Boggs. Boggs an All-American two years ago. Right now, it's by Boggs. Boggs taking on 157 pounder. Chance Esmont. Esmont. Esmont, the Ashland Eagle. Ashland Eagles with two falls in a row at 41 and 49. A nasty bonana split at 149 for Spielman. Jim Spielman's the youngest son, I want to say. The local Yogle, who is a local from Ashland, went to Mansfield Madison Comprehensive. There's a shot, misses one way, comes back to the other, does Boggs. And Boggs is the definition of warrior, folks. All American two years ago, registered last year. Esmont giving him some fits here early on. So Esmont, Boggs here, scrapping it at 157. Your dual score 12 7 in favor of. The Ashland University Eagles. This one's gonna come down to bonus points. Last month, the sophomore from Pickerington, Ohio. Pickerington, it's Pickerington Central, I wanna say. So last month, in the red. Put his back here, he's taking on Nick Boggs. Boggs. Lincoln College, Esmont, Ashland, scoreless foul here. We're two minutes into it. Esmont pulls the trigger, runs into an underhook of ball. Shout out to Coach Hugenboom. Coach Hugenboom built the Lake Erie College Storm program from nothing. It was non-existent. He came here, had a vision, and we're, we're looking at almost double-digit All-Americans. Couple national finalists, and they're looking for their nat first national champ on their second coach, Jeff Breeze. And shout out to Defense Soap, Defense Soap, Defend what you've built. Match is brought to you by Guy Seiko and the crew in Lakewood. Go check them out, www.defensesoap.com. Check them out on Amazon. Check them out, they're, they're global. So, you want to get rid of the funk? Miller Boys just had it. We got rid of it partially with Defense Soap. Overtie shuck attempt by Esmont. Fogs. Chance Esmont trading attacks. Esmont the sophomore. Fogs the senior. Fogs rocking the Jason Voorhees mask. He led the short time here. It's going to be a scoreless first between Esmont and Boggs, but Boggs led the storm along with the Glogowski brothers. Well, Forrest Glogowski, who wrestled all the matches. Blake did not. Led him to a GMAC Conference, Great Midwest Athletic Conference Championship in the duels last week at Tiffin. Boggs won three barn burners, folks. Count them three. Kind of how Boggs rolls. Literally. And up and out is Esmont immediately. 1-0 lead Esmont. So Esmont, Boggs, shaping up to be a very Boggs-esque match. Esmont doing a great job on the head of Boggs now with a front headlock. You could have Boggs in some trouble here. Got that like key lock there. Esmont looking to maybe step hop pull. Put him on his hands. And that's not gonna have to do something with that. And now he is, as I say it, he is. That was beautiful. He almost had that ankle pick. And now Esmont stuck there in that front headlock, not really doing anything with it. 
already taken some juice out of bogs though. And that, that's good for us, but that's what you want to do. So they clear out. Second period here, one O lead, Esmont of has a beautiful shot, but loses it, does Boggs. Esmont now in a good position here to defend against the Boggs shot. It was a good shot initially, and then he just like lost it immediately. But Esmont's defense probably had a lot to do with it. Esmont. Boggs, 1-0 lead, Esmont. So, 31 seconds left here. Second period, 1-0 lead. Ashland Eagles up in the duel, 12-7. to So if you're Laker, you gotta pick up a win here from your All-American. And we're inside of 15 now. There's a deep shot by Boggs again, but Esmont, go look the pancake him. Oh, he had that. I can't believe it. How does Boggs wrestle out of some of these positions? I thought Esmont had it. And we're gonna run out of time. We're gonna be one of the chance Esmont going into the third choice, Boggs. At the end of the second, Esmont leads 1-0. Boggs going underneath to the start period. the third. Esmont and him currently tied. So Boggs underneath. That's my colors. And that's my can ride for the win here. And if I am Ashley's coaching staff, I am telling him to do so. Quad pod right now for Boggs underneath. Now a claw for Asmont. Now Boggs up to his team. We got a tie bout. One to one here. Third period and, and very next Nick Boggsian of him. NCAA tournament hosted by Ashland here in Cleveland. 30 minutes west down the road at the Wolstein Center. For these guys, their final hurrah will be in Cleveland. Boggs' his last tournament as a collegian. Esmont, a sophomore, so he's got a couple more to watch him in. And it looks like a takedown's probably gonna win this one. Sprint to the finish here. 110 remains, 1-1 one, one bout. Nobody really with any great shots. Boggs had a couple, but Esmont's defense is really good. Powerful hips. And we're short time in it here. 1-1 one, one here, third period. This is how Nick Boggs does the things. And Boggs stalking him, but Esmont, he's not scared. Esmont tries a little half shot. Boggs blocks out with his face. 37 seconds left here. Third period, 1-1 one, one bout. Nick Boggs tries to go one way, then the back the other. Esmont clears out. Boggs, deep shot, runs into an underhook, though. Of Esmont, now Esmont, front headlock, he can score. And Chance Esmont could blow this thing wide open for Ashland as they had two falls in a row. And we got a quick stalemate, 15 seconds remains here. Third period, Boggs, Esmont, of course a barn burner. And Boggs, Esmont, this is where, and beautiful shot by Esmont, head outside. He's got, Boggs is in trouble, he's got to cut across, short time, seven seconds. Now Boggs are going to score, five seconds. Esmont hanging on. And of course we're going to overtime. So three out of the last four matches of Boggs that I've had have been sudden victory overtime, and he won two of them. So Esmont was in a great spot to score there. We're in overtime now, and Esmont Boggs sprint to the finish here, 50 seconds now. And Esmont had the deepest shot of the match. Probably should have scored. And deep, not a real deep shot, a shot though by Boggs. And now he's locked around the body. Esmont gets his hips back. And now we're in like a underhook, almost an over under, and he goes for it. Does Boggs, drops down on another shot. Deep, looks to cut across, puts Esmont on his hip. Esmont might be in a little bit of trouble here, but he's a superb athlete. We're on the edge, Five, 15 seconds. And nothing, and Esmont's off the mat. No, they go, no. And the Lake Erie College bench was not happy about that. 10 seconds remains. 
Bismont and Boggs and the barn burner here. Last eight seconds, deep shot again by Boggs. That's not gonna defend this one. And we're going to ride outs, folks. And here we go, ride outs. Choice, Asmon, he's gonna go underneath. Boggs gotta put a ride on him. Asmon had no problem getting out in regulation. So we'll see if Boggs can get a ride on here. But Ashman had no problem getting out in regulation, but he might be a little tired. Because Boggs tends to do that to you with his Voorhees mask and his constant pressure and hand fighting. But as I say, that quad pod for Ashman, he's up and out. And now in on a single leg is Boggs. He can afford to give this stall up, and he's gonna. But he's got eight seconds to ride Asmont out. And also leads an escape into Russell through position. So, eight seconds remains in this first 30 second ride out. Asmont underneath for the Ashland Eagles. 1-1 one, one bout. It will be another 30 second period here as Nick Boggs will have a chance to put, to get out from underneath. He rides the 30 seconds and he can now come up and out and win this thing. Gotta ride him. If he gets out, he's gotta take him down. And we got a caution on Chance Ashman. Ashlyn. Boggs, two time state placer from down the road at Riverside. Match is brought to you by Defense Soap. Defense Soap, defend what you've built. That's my cover. That's my can ride him. I'm just saying. As I say that, Boggs is up into. Up to his feet and up and out, and now Ashmont's gotta go get him. And as I say that, Bob fires off a shot, takes him down, and Bob surges in the right out. He's got a 4 1 lead. Ashmont getting crazy with some rolls, but it looks like Nick Boggs is gonna pick up a ride out victory here. And, and he bent the hand of Boggs the wrong way. Technical violation. Another point on the board, Boggs. That's gonna make it five to one. Escape, take down, yep, should be five to one. And six seconds remains, and Nick Boggs, the local yokel, going to pick up the overtime win as Esmont tries to throw him, and Boggs with yet another overtime win for Lake Erie College, and it's 12-10 after 157 and a barn burner.